I'm actually shooting a silhouette right now. Turn, go ahead and take a look of the guy standing at the edge right there. So in order to do a shot like this, I really had to put myself right at the edge as well. So that I could see right from the cliff up and so forth. And that's what I love about photography, you know, sometimes it's just so relaxed and so lovely that to sit right at the edge of the mountain to put your feet out. Be careful, I'm not asking you to risk your life, but sometimes this is the way to do photography. And in order to capture the breathtaking scenery, you just have to do it. nice when the dust come up in the air it's really nice and the lights just shine through I got a shot it was pretty great this is Metan Nalai uh, she's only 17 years old and her job is to carry rock she only received 1,500 chart per day which is about two dollars sing per day and if you look at behind me over here on the road straight down they use the dynamite to blow off the, the, the rocks and then break it down into small pieces to bring them down to the bottom part so that when the truck comes, they are able to load up the stone into the truck. And now it's still cooling because it's early in the morning, about um, 6.50 over here. Later on in the afternoon, hot sun, it's going to be very tough for them. As you can see, that they cover up with the head as well. For. So for me, it's a heartache um, to look at a younger 17 years old to do jobs like this and then reflect back into our urban city again that we are so fortunate and then look at our children, they are well protected she go to school but now it's her school holiday that's why she's working here but uh, she's one of the uh, more fortunate ones but there are many other people who could not even go to school another girl over there uh, she is actually um, uh, she only have her mom, her dad passed away she couldn't even go to school, she's 22 years old Today, they are going to carry the rock as well. In Singapore, we have small pet, but this boy have a big pet over here. Look at that. Ooh, big buffalo. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> <coughs> okay, this is a railway track and we are going through the Tatana. Uh, so I heard it's quite dark that we even need to use our torchlight. So um, we actually went and get permission to come here and uh, they actually sent an escort and uh, he actually came with a rifle in his hand. Uh, this is also part of the military area as we walk through it. So it's kind of like a, a security area. So. We really need to seek their permission for that. So I don't know what is to come in front. It's going to be very exciting. Let's go check it out. Afterward, uh, keep your camera and we will walk okay. on top. So, this is really cool. And it's about 2,600 over feet down. It's really deep and this is really a huge bridge. And uh, we, we come over here, we can only shoot from this side of the bridge. And uh, we are not supposed to shoot in the middle there, but we have to get permission from the other side if you want to shoot from there. So we're going to check uh, over the other side later. train is coming. Don't you think it's a little bit too last minute that they are still repairing the tra track before the train comes? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Going back. Nothing like our train station, you can see a few families, uh, houses behind, uh, people are living here, it's really cool. And, and they, they talked to me just now that they offered me a job and the labour here is 2,000 chart per day, it's, it's about $2.80, Sing dollars. Would you want to work here? Shoot the train, go on top of the bridge, across the, into the tunnel. So let's walk over there and check it out. Hey, so Timbali. <laughs> this is our friend who will bring us across and uh, he protect us <laughs> with this weapon. It's really cool. <laughs>